Full site writing with WordPress 5.9 is a great feature. Right now it is available only for block themes, but in future all the themes will be block theme. So let's find out this full site writing or FSE in detail. For those who don't know about themes, themes are skin on your website, which defines the look and feel of your website, including layout, colors and typography used on your website. For example, your old theme provides templates for pages, post, home page, front page and they are fixed unless you edit the code. In the past, the themes have predefined templates and you were required technical skills to chase these theme templates. With full set editing in WordPress 5.9 and thanks to block themes, every part on website is a block. So no matter which template is provided by theme, whether it is home page template, post template, general templates for pages, can be completely customized by site editor. You can notice the difference. Now under appearance, there are only two main options. Some block theme can have more options, but the menus, widgets, customizer are gone. So let's click on editor and see full site editing in action. You can see here, this is the home template for my website. If I click on this WordPress icon, you can see these three options. This one right now we are on is the editor, block editor from where we can add the templates for the theme. And then if you click here template, you can see all the templates provided to the theme. This theme is 2022. It provides various templates for search pages, for single post, for archive, for home page, 404, general template page, a blank template, page separator, single post template, and page with large header. An index which is a block page and these pages can be created by template parts. If you click here, you can see template parts. Normally template parts are the general areas on your website. For example, header, footer and some common areas like newsletter. You can use these on any page on your website. So what we can do if we click here in templates, then you can see no matter which template you want to edit, you just click on the template. Let's add the home template. So if I click on home, you can see this home template on my website. And now if you notice here it's home, if I click on this small arrow, I have header and footer areas. If I click on these three dots and I click on edit header, which is dark and small. Let me show you one more thing. If I go back to template parts, I open this in new tab. You can see I have three header, which are template parts. I can use these three different header on different pages. For example, on home page, I can use this one header, which is dark and small. On pages, I can use header, which is dark and large. And there's a clean header which I used on posts. So we come back to home template and I'm going to click on this arrow again and then on these two dots and edit header. Now you can see this header I'm using for the template for home page. What I can do, I can add more elements just by clicking on blog and I can search for a blog from here. Or what I can do, I click on browse all or I can click on this plus icon and I can search blocks from here. Not just blocks, I can use patterns also. Now in for my theme templates, if I click on patterns, I can decide which template I want to use. For example, if I take this one, subscribe call out, which most of you will use on all pages on your website. If I want to add in header, I can add in header. Just drag it and drop it here. You can see, watch birth from your inbox, join your mailing list. I added this thing. Let me show you my website current page, how it looks like. Home page looks like something like this. And now because I add the home template, I'm going to click save here. And then one more time save. I'll go back to website. I refresh the page. You can see we have the subscribe section here. You can just click on WordPress icon, go to templates and you can choose any template which you want to edit. For example, if I want to chase single post template, I can select this option. Let me open a post on my website. You can see we have light header here, the post content, comments and then in the end we have footer. What we can do, we can go back. This is our single post template. If I want to add something here, I just click on plus block or what you can do, you can use from here. For example, I take the page list, I drag it and drop it here just under the header section and you can see now I can see all my pages on post templates. If I click on save one more time save and I will go back to my post. You can see right now it is header and then the post content. If I refresh the page you can see I have these pages. You can see now because I edited my post template. So now the pages are appearing here on any post I will use. I will always see these pages on the post and if you click here on this icon styles you can define typography colors and layout for your website. I can define the font family, size of the text and a lot of other option for the text. And if I want, I can choose different typography for links. I can give underline or background and then you can go back once you're done, you can save it. So WordPress 5.9, they make so easy to edit theme template, which were not possible before because we need to use code to edit the templates, provide the theme. I hope this tutorial made it clear for you that what is full site editing and how we can add templates. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the, for YouTube algorithm and make sure you turn off the notification bell because I'm going to create more videos about full site editing and editing these templates and what is new with block builder. So don't miss out on that. See you in another video. Peace and love. And if you want to know how I improve my website score 100 out of 100 using Lightspeed Cache Banking, check out this video on your screen.